The activity Online Text allows students to type text directly into Moodle as opposed to, say, typing it into a Word document and uploading that Word document to Moodle. So let's take a look at how to use this. First, go ahead and click Turn Editing On. Next, select Add an Activity. And under the Assignment section, select Online Text. Next, name the assignment. You can provide a description if you would like, or you can copy and paste uh, the assignment name there as well. If you'd like the description uh, to be viewed in the main Moodle course, click this uh, dis display description checkbox. Now just like advanced uploading of files, you'll have a lot of different options here in terms of how to grade and control availability of the assignment. If you want to, enable the Available From and Due Date features. Again, if you select Prevent Late Submissions um, to Yes, then the students will not be able to turn in an assignment after this due date set right here. Again, if you um, have it set to No, then students will be able to turn in an assignment, uh, but they'll, their timestamp will be red so you'll know that it's late. You can select uh, your grading scale right here, Satisfactory, one, 1 to 100, 0 to 100, uh, excuse me, 1 to 100 um, in the grade section. Uh, you, do you want the students to re be able to resubmit? So for example, they'll click edit, type in their text, submit. Uh, if they want to make changes later, uh, they can go back in and make changes if you enable this. Do you want an email alert when your students have submitted an assignment? Uh, be aware that if you do select this and you do have, say, 100 students total, uh, that you're working with, uh, you're going to get 100 emails. Uh, do you want uh, to be able to comment in line? Do you want to be able to comment directly in the, the assignment? Uh, if you set the yes, you'll be able to do that. So I'm going to next click Save and Return to Course. And there's the assignment. It's the same icon as Advanced Uploading of Files. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log in as a student um, so you can see what it looks like from the student perspective. Okay, I'm now logged in as a student and I'm going to uh, complete this assignment. As a student, I click, click on Sample Assignment. And when I do that, I'm going to see dates available, due dates if that's enabled. And all I need to do um, to add text is click Add Submission. Okay, so I would put my text here, and notice the student now has an HTML editor, so they can add pictures and videos and links and embed things and all that kind of stuff, so you can use this as a really dynamic assignment type. Uh, the advantage of this, using this feature, is if a student, you, get, you give an assignment to a student and they don't have any kind of word or anything like that, or if uh, you're just doing kind of a quicker assignment where you're not, you don't need to necessarily grade papers, um, you could do this, and from your end, it's going to be a lot faster to grade, uh, a lot more efficient. Um, and from the student's end, it's going to be more direct in terms of how they are going to complete the assignment. All they needed to do was, was click um, to add their submission, put text in here, and click Save Changes. That's very quick. It's a lot quicker than typing the actual Word document and submitting it there. Now notice, the text will show up here. I can click edit my submission as a student to continue to add information. And this is it from the student standpoint. This is all they need to do to use the online text. I'm now going to log in as a teacher and show you what it looks like from the teacher standpoint. Okay, I'm logged back in as our teacher, in this case Clark Kent. I'm going to go grade the assignment that uh, the student turned in previously. I'm going to click sample assignment. Notice now that somebody has completed the assignment, as usual in Moodle, I have view the one assignment, submitted assignment in this case. It could be up to as many as students have, have turned it in. I'm going to click on that link. And right now here, it's showing me all the people that are in this course that could have done the assignment. Okay, In this case, 
this is a student who completed the assignment. Now that's fine, I only have you know a handful of people in here. Uh, what if I have 100 people and only 50 of them have completed it? It's going to be fairly inconvenient for me to go down and, and find each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle this by last modified submission. And I'll click it again. Now all the students who have completed the assignment will be put to the top. I had to click it twice because initially it put all the assignments to the bottom. So this is a nice uh, way to see okay who has submitted this most recently if those are the ones that you want to grade. Now that I have the students sorted I'm going to go ahead and grade the assignment. First thing I'm going to do is scroll all the way over to where it says grade. I'm going to click the grade button And when I do this, I can go ahead and I just wrote the word text initially in the assignment, but you, you could have a lot of information here. So I go ahead and read through the information. I'd select my grade the student got. And then I could also provide feedback right here. And again, it's an HTML editor, so I can add pictures or videos or whatever it is that I'd like. Okay, uh, new from Moodle 2. I can click Save Changes and that will finish it. I can click Save and Show Next and that will bring me to the next assignment to grade. I'm not going to do that because I only have one assignment. Next will just take me directly to uh, the next assignment without saving it and Cancel will cancel out the whole process and bring me back to the main screen. In this case I'm just going to click Save Changes. Now from the teacher standpoint I see I've given the student this grade um, with this comment and that's about it in terms of grading. Um, you just keep running through until you had all the students graded right here. Finally, the last thing I'm going to do is log back in as a student to show you what it looks like in the Moodle gradebook. Okay, so from the student's perspective, uh, if I want to see this assignment, I can do two things. One is I can click on the assignment, and I can see here, here's what I would have put as a student, and here's what the teacher's marks would be. Okay, so that's one way. That's probably the easiest way to do it. They can also click on where it says Grades. This is Moodle Gradebook. One caution against this is uh, before Moodle set, if you gave an assignment, let's say you had all your assignments for the semester in here, it's going to default the assignment grades to zero. So it's going to assume that the students have not turned any work in and graded as such. So it's going to skew their grades quite a bit. Where this does come in handy is seeing grades for individual assignments. So if I click Grades, I have this quiz and this assignment right here. Um, I can, as a student, see the grade I received, points possible, percentage, and feedback right here. So this is another nice way for students to see all of their assignments, but just realize, tell them, uh, they want to see their grade, they want to actually look in the grade book in SIS, not in Moodle. Okay, so this is how to use the online text feature uh, for Moodle 2 from a teacher and a student standpoint.